All right, guys, here with Coach Ethan, Coach Saf, under eight. Result first, please. 3 2 win. Coach your boy Ethan here. We are cheer. 3 2 win. How was it? Performance? Sum it up for us, Seth. It was good. We had um, two new additions. We had Atif on the goal sheet. We had um, Auburn as well. Six, both six, actually. Um, they did well. Um, we had Ka uh, Caius and David, our regulars. Uh, standing on the touchlines, I had a few comments from a couple of parents or whatnot. Um, they would like to see your team move the ball, pass the ball a lot more. Um, are you work is that something you're working on at the moment? Yeah, I mean, we always start our sessions with passing anyway. I mean, they, they are still young and we can see that a couple of players such as David, they do like to pass out from the back. I mean, we always do encourage it, especially from a goal kick, to make that first pass, second pass. It's just the third one, I think they feel a bit pressured, especially when players are coming towards them. So the more they get comfortable and the more they play games, they'll be used to passing and obviously it's something we're looking forward to. Uh, so throughout the season, we've had, I don't know, use of like at least 15, 16 players so far in this team. Um, when can we see a consistent squad? Very, very soon, honestly. Um, I feel like there's a couple of players that we're looking at that are going to be our set squad. Um, guys that have been playing, coming to training quite often. Um, and they're improving, they can see they've improved from the first game. Um, conceding a lot of goals in the games, but they know what they need to do to get those goals back. So I think our squad's going to be set very soon. Alright, well done on the result. And, uh, Alright guys, here yeah, we Coach Hafiz and Coach uh, Trouble. Um, uh, result first please. 5-2 uh, win. Um, obviously scored 4, Adam Trouble got 1. Um, sort of performance, first half, bit laboured Hafiz. Second half picked up a little bit. What's wrong with these boys? Uh, they don't look like they use yourselves. You actually make a very good point. I don't have anything to say to that. First half, it was very shaky. Like, I felt like it took us way longer than it does. Oh, stop that for a second, let me go again. <laughs> now we're rolling, carry on. No, we're rolling. All right, in regards to the first half, I feel like, huh? in regards to the first half, we were a bit shaky, we were a bit um, slow off the blocks. It took us a while to, to get into the, the game. Second half was fairly bit. I still wasn't that impressed because it goes back to what you were saying. Something is fairly wrong with them in regards to how they're starting their games. And I'll let Coach Mo take it from there. Yeah, I think what it was is we're playing different level of opponents every single week and this one were, these ones were very, very scrappy today and I don't know why but our boys decided to get involved in it where we packed out the midfield when we didn't need to and we didn't use the space out wide so we brought them in half time, it was 2-2 by then, we brought them in half time, had a few words with them, uh, changed personnel, uh, brought on Josefa and tucked out Zane um, on the right and once they started using the space, it opened up space for Omit, opened up space for Adam and then we played our football and they didn't, they didn't really get close to us. So I think it was just, we need to stop playing to the opposition, uh, opposition strength and just play to our own. And when we do, we are untouchable. You've got a lot of players in the squad now. Yep. Um, how do you go about picking team every week? Do you try to keep it consistent or do you give everyone a chance? How does it work? It's difficult because uh, of course we've got players coming to training twice a week and I am giving them a chance giving them chances like Ryan come back into the squad um, obviously Sam we played the last two games but obviously Hamas was dropped this week so we are players are coming in coming out it all depends on how they do in training and of course they've got to take the chances when they come here in the day but we are trying to rotate as much as we can and we have done and I think that's why sometimes we do start a bit a bit lazy and when we do bring players on it is a bit slow because they're still getting used to the pace of the game because they're not playing much football. All right brilliant on to next week well done today. Uh, here with coaches Pele, Coach Moose. That was Pele laughing hysterically just a minute ago, even though they drew. Um, What's the final score? 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Uh, four, four. you sound very depressed by it. I was depressed because of the poor start from the boys. First half, they weren't on it today. And, uh, we were lucky to go 2-1 up. And uh, second half, we were 4-2 down. But they yeah. show good characters to come back. But I think the other team were... Like, What's your name, Brendan Rodgers? Who? What's your name, Brendan Rogers? No, no, no. <laughs> my name's... Uh... <laughs> uh, Muz, you've, been, you've had a three-game winning streak. Yep. You've been 100%. I mean, you still haven't lost. Uh, was it, were you in this game to win it, or was it was sporting a very decent side? Um, 
So our aim for today, obviously as Arsenal said, we always want to win. Um, so as soon as we came in today, we told the boys to make it point of bounce. So we did, we did set up our team to, to play and to win. Um, unfortunately, we went 1-0 down. Um, but then we came back 2-1 up. And the boys knew that once they're up, they have a chance to finish the game. Unfortunately, we, didn't, we never went ahead by a big margin. But I think once we went 4-2 down, we saw the, we saw the team start playing, really. Um, every single player in that team was fighting. And we've a player like Asad in the team, we always have a chance. So, um, I, thought, I thought Hamza Khan was excellent today. I think we finally got some specifics with him. I think we know he's going to play now. Um, and I think the boys can be proud of themselves, but I think from what I'm seeing, Assad's really close to the fight at the moment. So yeah, as I was going to say, that's 14 goals now in four games. And I know Coach Bill's coach, Aswa, desperately won him. Um, how, do you think you keep holding him for much longer? To be honest, not, not much uh, long, man. That's what's happening. We've got to try to get this uh, Assad dependence away from. So, Because uh, they're good players and we want them to be their source. Because in the first half, all the, the team were just basically Assad here, take the ball, and then we'll hopefully, hopefully do something amazing. Once they start, everyone started playing, that's when we looked at a good team. It's not going to be a ch it's going to be sooner or later rather than Assad's going to not be able to on the toes anymore. I think, so, I think one thing we need to prioritize the following week is it's covering for side. Obviously, Saf moved up to the 30s this week, so it was a big, big loss for us. I mean, we never had that presence at the back, so that's, that's certainly one thing to work on for us. That was Assad running across, um, <laughs> acting like... All is running. Alexis Sanchez. <laughs> uh, well done, boys. On to next week. All right, guys, here with Coach Bill's Coach Aswat. Just after an under 13s game, final score, that's what? Uh, it's 4 4 1. Yeah, 4 1, yeah. 4 1, one nil Dan. Uh, boys didn't look like they were going to be in this game at all. No. Um, what turned around? Well, basically, the first half was a bit under pressure. You can see uh, we weren't playing football at all. So we've been working on Tuesday and the Saturday training session, and it was a bit poor. But then, had a guy at women at half time, and we got out for the first time. I've had a guy, I've never had a guy all through the season so far. And actually, the second half performance almost changed. They started playing the ball and started trying to implement some of the stuff we did in training. And luckily, we got the four goals. What do you think? I mean, uh, it's the same old story with the 13s. Even when they were under 12s, they would always go behind before they start playing. They don't come out of the blocks ready to play. Mm. They have to be losing before they actually get into the game, start doing mm. what we tell them mm. to do. And <laughs> it's a recurring theme, actually, every week. It was a scrappy game. No, not much football being played, but. There was one positive in that team, and that's your new signing, Sadiq. Um, just talk to us about him. Let us go first. I mean, he, he was a brilliant player all round. He's got everything. He's got awareness, facial awareness. He knows how to pass. He can dribble. He's, he's a tricky player. He can shoot. I mean, he's going to be he's going to he's going to be a big player for us this season. Good job, Coach Arif is here finally. Hello, Coach Arif. Well, um, Sadiq. Yeah. Special player. I haven't seen seen him in training, but just from the just from the game that we just saw right now, special, special talent. And I, I, all I said, I didn't know, I had a word with him right before the game, and Coach Asma also had a word with him before the game, and to be honest, he came on and he looked like he was in the team from the pre-season. So fair play to him, he was the man in the match today as well, so yeah, hopefully he stays and continues for us. A bit heated touchline, Arif. Um, <laughs> yes, it was, it, was a bit, it was a bit too much at times. Um, What's your take on it? Did that spark the boys up? Did that, did that know, fuel them up? I felt like it was needed. Um, not so much the... I mean, they just needed a bit of aggression on the pitch, something to just get them going. Um, and one thing I told Sidiq was, if you're not going to test the keeper, you won't know how good he is. And then the, the first shot was just amazing. Top Surprise. corner. Yeah. I mean, regardless of what the keeper was, that was always going to go in. But they just need to just be on it straight away from the get-go rather than wait for something to happen beside them on the touchline or whatever to just get them going. They just need to, as soon as they start, 100% from the start. Uh, was that a much needed win after two losses on the bats? It was. For, yeah, for me, it's a, it's an amazing feeling. Um, I was under a lot of pressure. I don't like losing. To me, as a player, I've, not, I've already lost in terms of, you know, Sunday League football and stuff. So, yeah, good win. Well done, boys. On to next week now. Yeah. I'm here with Coach Rudy. Rudy, four games, three wins, one draw. Sum it up for us, please. Um, it's been a long day. Start off with the under eights, because that's the first game today. Uh, they won 3-1, was it? 3-2. 3-2. 
yeah, it was a good game for football for them. I mean, like we said, like we've been saying for the last few weeks, we're not really worried about the results, but it's, it looks like they're picking up a winning run now. So maybe, maybe we should start putting the pressure on them to win games because they've got some good football players. They're good little football players, and if they start putting that ball together, playing a little bit, I think they've got a good chance to win a, win a lot of games in this blue league. So yeah, they're looking very good. Um, coach Ethan and Coach Saf doing a good job with them. Um, then the under nines, obviously, you guys, they did well. Again, on it, four goals. You know, I'm getting bored of saying it. But at times, they look a bit. They, they, when they play, there were, there were incidents in the game where they were playing. They look really, really good. But when, they, when they're under pressure, I don't think they can deal with it just yet. But they'll get there. They're still winning. They keep knocking results on. So, you know, let them keep going. And I, they, they can only get better as the season goes on, in my opinion. And the 12s and the 13s, we were split between the two. I watched a little bit of the 12s, watched a little bit of the 13s. So we started the 12s first. Um, I said a hat trick again. You know, the boys keep scoring goals. They were 2 1 up at one point, and then 3 2 down, and could have equalised. I said missed a very good chance to equalise. So it could have been a different game, could have been a different result. But at the end of the day, 4 4 is not bad against a good sporting side, a great outfit. So, you know, we take that draw. And then the 13s, you know, 1 0 down for the majority of the game. You know, a little bit of silliness in the box on Saif, but uh, it happens in football, Suarez did it, didn't it? But yeah, nah. Um, but they, they, they fought back, you know, something sparked them. There was a spark on the side, it sparked them, and yeah, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> I'm ready to the next question, but yeah, go for it. All right, speaking about the spark, Rudy, um, I remember most of the game you were by my side. Um, and I looked up, and you're on the opposite side arguing with their manager. Um, you stopped the game. You, you stopped the game for about five minutes. Um, the boys didn't know what was going on. We thought the game was going to get cancelled. Um, so what happened? There? What happened there? Well, it's just R seventy seven being R seventy seven, isn't it? You know, finding his mouth on the touchline. We've got a new coach in Bills. Um, to be fair, the, the, the thinking behind it was is I don't I want Bills to manage the game, so I take the little heat off him a little bit. So I just to back him up and um, escalate a little bit. That. They need to, but he seemed to fire the boys up, and maybe that's what we needed. Fair enough. Um, one common thing from every egg, from every game today and from what managers have said is that they started slow. Um, do you think that comes down to anything in particular? Yeah, it could be a few things. You know, with the 12s and 13s, they're playing at 2.30. Yeah, I've never seen them play at that, at that late, so maybe they're just waiting all day for the game, so that could be play a part. But the youngsters, I don't think it really should be a problem for them, because they play at 10 o'clock in the morning every week, so it should be quite comfortable with it. But, you know, it's just boys being boys, isn't it? What do they eat? It's all questions to be asked, so I don't know. All right, thank you very much for that, Rudy. Thank and you. let's try to keep calm on the sides from next week. I'm always calm. Thank I'm you. Always calm. <laughs>